Developing a new product involves many moving parts. It includes multiple teams and checkpoints to ensure a flawless end product. At Evco Plastics, these quality controls and strategic preparation lay the groundwork for what we call Designing for Manufacturability, or DFM. It's the cornerstone for every project we undertake. There are five factors that make up DFM, all of which must be conducted on parallel paths to achieve success. Time to market and overall cost of the project are main factors um, for design for manufacturing that are important. Early customer involvement will help us to um, achieve their goals in a shorter time frame. If we can understand their whole design process, their whole their final outcome that's needed, then we can really recommend um, design changes that are reasonable to them. The importance of robust process development is to ensure that all molded parts are consistent regardless of outside variables. We want products that are cost effective to manufacture throughout their life. The more we can just talk up front, the more the problems will be solved before they become problems. Metrology is the final stage in our DFM process. We've set it up in three different stages. Stage number one, introductory stage. This is going to allow us to view the prints and get an idea what the part design is going to be so that we can then move on to stage two. The planning stage, this is an internal stage that allows us to decide what's the proper equipment to complete the layout. Stage three is the measurement stage, which ultimately is what we're focused on. And if we've done stage one and stage two correctly, stage three just falls into place, allowing us to measure and provide our customer with the results that we're producing with their parts. During the DMF process, I do look at upstream, downstream automation, and the job will really dictate that. If it's you know, more complex, higher speeds, you're looking at you know, upstream or downstream or sometimes both. And so if it's insert loading, there's a lot of uh, pre-molding operations, you will have upstream automation, staging or placing items. And then if it's high cavitation or really high speed, downstream, you know, you have to manage all these parts you're producing, especially a lot of customers want 100% check. So it'll go through a vision system and then a palletizing system, you know, and then sometimes require both. By dealing with customers up front with this stuff, you know, we can kind of focus them on something that will deliver what the customer wants, their end user wants, and something that is cost competitive, so what they, the end user will buy. Contact us today to discover a new way to partner.